folks welcome back it's been a couple of weeks since uh, what you saw in the beginning of this video I've been working on the pool I didn't film a lot uh, after the first uh, week or two just because it was a lot of the, uh, the same stuff going on uh, but basically we got everything uh, chlorinated got everything killed out you saw what a cesspool it was um, it took a while our filter and I'm not sure if something's wrong with our filter if that's just uh, uh, typical for a sand filter. I uh, haven't had just a whole lot of experience with them, so maybe if you do, you can uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know. But it wasn't filtering out the dead algae, so it was just cloudy for a lot of that time over the last couple of weeks. Um, so we went with the uh, nuclear option, and as you can see, looking pretty clear now. Uh, we used a dropout flocculant that you put in there, and it makes all the stuff clump together and sink to the bottom to be vacuumed out. So um, everything's looking pretty, pretty clear now. But uh, if you can see, and I'll get a little closer in a minute, um, there's still a few leaves on the bottom and also there's a layer of uh, white film. It's all that uh, algae uh, that the flocculent uh, dropped down to the bottom. So we'll need to vacuum, it, vacuum that out. So that's what we're about to do today. We're gonna get the vacuum, start vacuuming it out. Of course, that'll probably stir everything up and be cloudy again. So we may have to do this a time or two. Um, but already, um, if you go back and I'll try to drop in a, a picture or a short video of what it looked at from the beginning, uh, to here uh, we're just uh, again it's been a couple of weeks but uh, if I'd have went ahead and used this flocculant uh, at the end of the you know, first week or so we could have got you know got to this point probably in a week to 10 days so this is where we're at and we'll get to vacuuming Right, guys, I'm gonna do a little talking head here while you're watching me vacuum the pool. Uh, so we got uh, everything vacuumed. It takes it's a little slow, uh, just because you got that uh, layer of uh, gunk on the bottom where all the uh, dead algae has uh, sunk to the bottom with the flocculant. So you can't just uh, get out there and go crazy with the uh, uh, with the vacuum because it just stirs it all up. So you kind of have to go slow, hold it off the bottom a little bit. Uh, what I found works best. Um, letting it suck all that gunk up and again going slow keeps it from starting it all up. You will get some of it uh, stirring up but as long as you uh, go easy with it a lot of that will settle back down. So um, while you're watching this um, we got about uh, half of the pool done and I'll flip the camera around here in a minute and show that but we were able to get about half of it done before the level of the pool uh, got too low uh, to vacuum anymore. When you're vacuuming that up you got to vacuum to waste and um, some of the uh, water had already evaporated over the last uh, couple of days and uh, of course with cleaning the filter you got to filter that away so it had dropped down a little bit a few inches so it was just at the bottom of the entrance of the filter so we turned that off and I've got the water hose in it now uh, filling it back up um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to let that feel I'm going to get up here in a second and get the uh, leaf um, the net there's a one little small pile of leaves uh, leaves in the uh, middle there and some more built up around the steps um, so I'm going to try to scoop some of those out right now and then let the pool fill up while everything settles back down and then we'll come out here later uh, once the water's back up. I'll probably overfill it a little bit since um, we'll have to be vacuuming more to waste and then we'll probably let it settle down again and come back out here either later this evening or um, a third time uh, tomorrow and try to get it all uh, vacuumed up. But uh, we're getting pretty close and uh, we'll come back uh, on the last couple of times here and see what it looks like. Um, and then get the very end uh, when it's completely clear so you can see how we went from cesspool to uh, clean ready to swim in swimming pool all right guys it's been several weeks maybe close to a month since i shot the first part of this video um, we had some setbacks we had to go out of town and uh, plus when i was vacuuming out uh, the first time we put the flocculant in there to get all the dead algae to settle to the bottom and I was vacuuming out, the vacuum broke, and I had to order a new one. It took several days to get here, and we had to go out of town during that time, and uh, so it started to turn a little bit green again, but finally we are cesspool to swimming pool ready. This is uh, June the 6th, I believe, and uh, yeah, we're about to get in. I did get that one piece of the deck, just put it back on. That other piece over there where the uh, fig tree grew up in, it's gonna need a little bit more extensive work, so I'll do that later, but I did get that piece back on before someone caught their leg on it and uh, even got our unicorn float 
for the kids, got it aired up and cleaned up. And the water's all clear and all the chemicals are right. And so time to enjoy it uh, for the summer. And again, this is another 13,500 gallons of water that we have on the place. And if we were out water for an extended period of time for whatever reason, we could dip it out with buckets to flush toilets and we could even dip it out and take it and feed the animals, the chickens and the donkeys and the goats. And uh, that would carry us quite a while for we would have to worry about any water if for some reason it was out for an extended period of time. So, yep, that's all for this one. We appreciate you watching. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like it. Leave us some comments, and as always, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and we'll catch y'all in the next one.